toxic buildup. And that's something that's a core, right? Let's reverse it. Dr. Helen here. I'm so excited because we're going to make this absolutely beautiful, gorgeous bowl of juice because all of this is going to be yummy and yummy, yummy, yummy in your tummy. And I wanted to just talk about this one right here. This is a fennel. Now, I love fennel um, for a couple of reasons. One is because, well, it's delicious. It has a slight, um, a slight licorice flavor. But it's full of antioxidants. It's got um, lots of nutrition like vitamin C. It's also pretty liquid in here. But the other thing that I like about this is that the seeds of the fennel, they are so potent. Like if I am making something and I wanted to have like a, uh, a sausagey flavor, I will take the seeds of the fennel and saute them with some fresh garlic, some fresh sage, and um, some smoked paprika. We're going to talk about that because we're going to be doing a lot of cooking, and we're going to get to that. So if you're listening to this conversation, you think you're trying to take my recipe, don't even think about it because nobody knew that combination but me. Um, but here we go. We're going to do that. We're going to do that with fennel seeds. It is absolutely, it gives you like this really sausagey flavor. And you can put that sausagey flavor in like mushrooms and make it a meat, or you can put it in like a, you know, you can put it in um, some legumes or whatever you, whatever we decide to do with it, your pasta, all different kinds of things. Um, I have plenty of recipes at, um, at um, coming up in my book called The Genesis Plan. But right now we're working out of reverse it. So we're going to use this um, and we're going to um, cut the stems off of this one and we're going to just use the stems for this recipe. So here we go. And we're going to save this bulb for another recipe. So nice. Alrighty, I have already cut my oranges in half and you're probably going to be so excited. We're not going to peel the oranges. Um, we are going to just use the oranges as, as, as they are. So I have four of those. Of course, I have two different kinds of navel orange and I can't even remember the name of this one, but it's a red fruit orange. Um, and then I have uh, the recipe calls for six tangerines, but they didn't have any tangerines in my area. So I'm using... What are these called? Mandarin oranges. So we're going to use mandarin oranges and we're going to use the whole thing. I've already washed them pretty well um, to uh, get all of any kinds of debris or anything off of them. And so we're going to go ahead and use that as is and we're going to use our lime as is too. So again, we're going to start with the kale. I'm going to turn my juicer on and we're going to start stuffing. All right, here we go. You know, while I'm doing this, I should ask you, have you been drinking your water? You know, you have to drink water, right? We're trying to do 96 ounces a day. So you want to make sure you're drinking water in between your juices because that is actually going to help you flush out the toxins. There is no replacement for fresh water. Now, I got to tell you, though, if you're using water and you're drinking out of a water bottle, make sure your water bottles are BPA free um, because we don't want those added toxins in our water. They usually put the BPA, it's bisphenol A, they usually put that in plastic bottles um, and they do it in bowls and things that you store food in. I just don't store food in plastic because I don't want any of that BPA in my food. And for you ladies, it's actually an endocrine disruptor. So it acts like it's, it, it acts like it's, um, it, it's like one of your hormones. And we'll talk about that uh, at another time, but it, it, it's a hormone disruptor. So you don't want that because you start getting symptoms that you're like, well, why am I doing this? Or why am I doing that? It's because it's disrupting your hormones. So we're gonna have a whole little section about that. All right, here's my lime. And then I'm going to put my fennel in here. All my tops. And then my last mandarin orange. And I'm going to watch that baby go. Looking good. 
last little drips are coming and then I'm gonna turn it off and then I'm gonna let the roast little, the last bit of juice just kind of squirt into this deliciousness right here. And then we're going to take this and we're going to put it in our jar. As you know, these are my storage jars. I store my juices in here. So here we go. And I just give it like a little swish and then pour. Now this one gives you a lot of juice because it's got all those oranges in there. And you're gonna taste the flavor of the orange. So it's gonna be a pretty nice, strong flavor. But that color in there, you'll see some orange, but you'll see some green in there too. Okay, here we go. But this is so good. Um, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do because it is absolutely fabulous. Enjoy it. Interested in step-by-step -step guidance with me on reversing your type 2 diabetes? Visit my website, paintowellnesshealthcare.com to request an appointment.